What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. You guys will see I'm starting to do these little YouTube shorts from older videos and stuff like that there, just so I can try to get used to it. Uh, I was trying to figure out how you make the older videos to look like, you know, full screen type deal. So bear with me as I'm playing with YouTube shorts. But in today's video, we're going to go over some recent sales that just happened. First off the bat, the Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Triple Logo Man from uh, Exquisite from Upper Deck. 11 bids on the card only, sold at $540,000. That is like a sixth of the price, roughly, I believe, from what the LeBron Triple Logo Man sold for. So it kind of makes you wonder, you know, the older stuff has value, but does newer stuff just pumped way outside some crazy price ranges? But here you got Jordan, Bird, and Magic on a card. Triple Logo Man, the original Logo Man stuff that came out by Upper Deck. And it sells for a fraction of the price of a Triple Logo Man LeBron James. I believe it's a little bit shorter than the Triple uh, Warriors Logo Man. I can't remember what that sold for. It might have sold for a little more. I think now I think about it, it might have been 400000 that one sold for. But just look at it, you know, the different pieces and stuff here. I mean, if you had... Any amount of money out there you could spend on one card, and but you had to choose between one of two cards, I should say. Either the LeBron Triple Logo Man or this exquisite Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson Logo Man. Which one would you buy? Just curious. Maybe I'm just missing something here because myself, I'd like the Upper Deck Exquisite uh, Jordan, Bird, and Johnson card. Even though I, I am a Jordan collector and I know he's on it, but just having three of these elite hall of famers on it would mean a lot more to me than anything else all right moving on moving on it talks about some other stuff on to here uh the 9798 metal universe pmg red jordan sold for four hundred twenty thousand. the 101 national treasure logo man Cade cunningham back at nine ten auto Sold for $204,000. This says the most money ever paid for a card featuring a 2021 top draft pick. Kind of crazy. $204,000 if you pulled that card. Now, you remember those boxes are still pricey and everything. It's not like back in the day where those things are like four or $500 a box. A little bit more now, but just crazy with that stuff. LeBron James, Cavs jersey signed from the 08 season, $198,000. So it just gives you a lot of stuff. I believe these were all... Yep, golden auction. Golden auction stuff. All right. This one here kind of shocked me next. That's why the picture's in the thumbnail. The complete 520 card T206 sold for just under $80,000. Just think about that. Under $80,000. Now, granted, these weren't no high grades or anything like that. But there's some uh, crazy cards that are part of this set. They're a nostalgic Tenny Vintage uh, guy out there, really. It talks about complete run of 250 cards of the Polar backs onto it, and the complete run of the 48 Southern Leagues of the Old Mill backs onto it. But just look at this. Ty Cobb, Ty Cobb, Ty Cobb. Three of them. Granted, I mean, this one's kind of banged up and stuff, but I thought, I mean, I'd like to have all three in my collection. I wouldn't care if they were ones. This stuff's hardly going to be really hard to find in those higher grades unless somebody stored them in, I don't know, an envelope or something way back then. But it just really shocked me that it really, you know, went for such low money onto it. I figured it would have been something more when I first seen it. I'm not too sure any people uh, followed this auction or anything like that there. And then this was Love of the Game Auctions this past Saturday night. The highest grade 1921 exhibit Babe Ruth on PSA's population report is 65, sold for 62,000, while a rare um, Bilkin Cigarettes card of the Hall of Famer Oscar Charleston grade SGC2 got 53,000. So it just starts making you think more with prices and with auctions going on. Is it because it's the end of the year, because Christmas is coming up? Uh, it, it could be a various reasons, or is the market still plummeting? I still think we haven't corrected itself uh, at all you know, card prices out there since the big old hype up bubble or whatever you want to call it, COVID era. I think we're still going to see a lot more things decline in the card values out there. 
Uh, I get asked a lot, would I buy anything? Now, I still buy, but mostly what I'm buying, I'm either buying the grade to sell, make money, and buy PC stuff with it, or I'm just hunting PC stuff, or I might see something somebody else might like, and I'll buy and trade for it. But I still see a lot of stuff way over price, people not budging. Give them till next summer and just start watching. You guys start seeing there'll be a lot of dealers starting to want to cut deals on cards because they've been sitting on them for a long time frame. Even myself, I sat on cards for probably close to a year this year, couldn't move them at any of the shows, online, buy slabs, eBay, buy it nows, best offer. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think what else I had them on. Just threw them at DC Sports, and realistically right now, I'm about maybe just a, under a third of what I thought they would reach. Great, there's still like five or six hours left. But it's starting to come to a realization, you know, if you bought cars a long time ago to raw to grade them and you've been holding them for so long and nobody's been biting at them, there might be a reason why. I mean, a lot of people are getting smart. They're getting more educated. They're getting, you know, tighter with their money out there unless they're getting handed free money to go buy cards with. But we're going to bring this up today. It was kind of interesting. I'm really curious. I mean, with everybody's thoughts, would you have rather had the Jordan Bird in Magic Johnson Triple Logo Man from Exquisite or... The triple uh, LeBron James uh, one from, was that out of uh, Flawless this year? Flawless. It, it's just crazy the difference in price value onto it. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. I'm out.